Hello everyone from the Daily Map Report prepared by the Pioneer team. In a moment, we will analyze the latest details about the war between Russia and Ukraine together. According to the latest reports of local and international sources, the Ukrainian armed forces are continuing counter-offensive operations in four sectors of the front line. You will be able to see it clearly when we start our report. The counteroffensive of the Ukrainian army has increased its power to a great extent. It is just started. At many points, Ukrainian troops are making an intensive effort to repel Russian troops. So, what is the latest situation on the battlefield? Let's take a look at the latest developments together. As the pioneer, we continue to transmit to you the conflict between Russian army and the Ukrainian army. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so as not to miss our daily map reports and reports on the agenda. I'm also reading all the comments you've made. Please indicate your idea about the contents in the comments. The Pioneer Report Let's start with the Zaporizhia front line again. As you know, the Ukrainian armed forces are winning consecutive victories on the Zaporizhia front line. The reasons behind the situation are the most elite troops of Ukrainian army are deployed on the Zaporizhia front line. In recent days, the erosion region had come under the control of the Ukrainian army. According to recent reports, Russian troops have carried out a number of offensive operations in the direction of erosion. Russian troops stationed south of erosion launched an offensive in the northern direction. However, the Ukrainian army, which built defensive positions in the area, managed to repel the attacks of Russian army. Previously, almost 80% of the erosion had fallen into the hands of the Ukrainian army. Russian troops, on the other hand, were maintaining their dominance in the two remaining neighborhoods in the south of the region. However, the Ukrainian infantry units, which went on the offensive again with the fewest attacks of the Ukrainian artillery, managed to end the Russian dominance in these regions as well. The Eurasian region is now officially under the control of the Ukrainian army. Many military experts have mentioned the possibility of this situation before, and we have mentioned the claims of these experts in the reports we have shared with you before. Military experts have recently opened a new discussion by making another claims. These claims are also that the Russian troops will completely withdraw from the positions they are holding south of the center of Eurasia. Let's take a look at the region on the map. As you can see on the map, Zavitny Bezania is located south of center of Eurasia. Russian troops had begun to build up their positions in the areas north of this village. I mean, I'm talking about the situation that arose after the retreat from Erosion. Some military experts claim that Russian troops in the region withdrew due to heavy losses during the Erosion battles, so they do not have the strength to wage a new defensive war in this region. In addition, this situation is also often expressed in reports shared by many local sources. But will the Russian troops really make such a withdrawal decision? Of course, the cease of the attack of the Ukrainian army will also be effective for Russian troops to take this decision. The future days will show us this clearly. As in Eurasian, Russian troops want to establish dominance in Stromayorsk again. Now let's take a look at the Stromayorsk region on the map. According to recent reports, Stromayorsk, which is dominated by Ukrainian army, recently faced a Russian attack. Russian troops attacked Stromayorsk from the west of the region. According to the latest reports of local sources, the Ukrainian troops successfully repaired this attack by Russian troops. The Ukrainian army, which has strengthened its positions, continues its dominance in the region. Now let's continue with reboting, another important point on the Zaporizhia front line. In our reports in recent days, we have often mentioned that there is a possibility that the region will be liberated by Ukrainian army. The Ukrainian army had been besieging reboting for a long time. Ukrainian artillery units were violently shooting at the Russian soldiers' stations in Robotin region. Now, let's look at the region on the map. As you can see, the Robotin region is located at a very critical and strategic point. Very serious allegations about the region have recently been shared with public by local sources. According to these claims, the Ukrainian army managed to establish dominance in Robotin region. It is also reported that the armed forces of Ukraine are moving towards the southeastern borders of the Robotin settlements in order to engage in a conflict with the troops of the Russian armed forces. Ukrainian troops may be aiming to spread the fighting in this region over a wider area. 
In this way, the strength of the Russian army stations in one region will be divided. We can mention that the pressure of Ukrainian troops on the Russian troops will increase significantly in this way. In addition, Ukrainian troops are also carrying out quite significant attacks in the Verbov region. As you can see, the Robotin zone is located quite close to Verbov zone. The Ukrainian army was trying to break through the Russian defense line located here. According to the latest reports, Ukrainian artillery units have severely hit the Russian defense positions the stations in Verbov. According to local sources, Russian troops in the region suffered heavy losses during these attacks by Ukrainian artillery units. It is reported that the operations in the region are continuing and there are fierce clashes with Ukrainian soldiers and Russian soldiers. Let's continue with the latest developments on the Bakhmut front line. Let's first see the Bakhmut front line on the map. As you know, the wings are of a great importance for the encirclement of the city center of Bakhmut. Now let's start with the latest situation on the south wings first. The Ukrainian army continues to dominate all the strategic areas in the region, including Klishchivka. According to the latest reports of local sources, Russian troops have carried out several attacks in the direction of Andreevka and Klishchivka in recent days. However, the Ukrainian defense force in the region managed to repel the attacks of Russian soldiers. The fact that the dominant hills in the region are under the control of the Ukrainian army is a great advantage when Ukrainian troops are in the defensive position. Using the dominant hill advantage, the Ukrainian army easily repelled the attacks of Russian army. Ukrainian artillery units are also participating in both defensive and offensive operations in the region. The presence of Ukrainian artillery in the region is of a critical importance for the Ukrainian army. According to recent reports, Ukrainian artillery units severely hit Russian troops stationed in Kordomoyevka and Klishchivka, located south of Bakhmut. Now it's your turn. What do you guys think? Do you think the Ukrainian army's attacks on the Zaporizhian front line were successful? What do you think about the progress of the Ukrainian army in the region? Do you think the Russian army may decide to withdraw from the region due to its heavy losses? Do you think that the claims about Robotin are real? Mention it in the comments. I'm reading and caring about all of your comments.